first thing, thing I asked Stephen, how good is this team feeling right now considering how you guys played last Saturday? Uh, we're feeling pretty good. But we, can't, uh, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves, like Paige was saying earlier. We just kind of got to keep the blinders on. We just focus on what's ahead of us one game at a time. And so far this year, it's been working out. So I think we'll be, I think we'll be focused. We're not looking too far ahead. So we're feeling pretty confident. You guys played such a complete game. And you know, yesterday's usually your day of corrections. What, what were some of the corrections in that game? It looked like you guys played pretty well in all phases. Uh, I mean, we had, we had a couple like MAs on the offensive line. Um, there wasn't really too many corrections on the offense. I don't really know about the defense, but overall, I think we played a pretty good game. I mean, some of, some of the some of the running scheme and uh, they in the second half they made good adjustments and they brought like a blitz, a couple of blitzes that we didn't practice or they kind of just must have made up, and it messed with us. But after the after we went back to the sidelines and talked about it, we corrected it, and so it was pretty much just corrected right during the game. So. We did pretty good. Trevor, you touched on it a little bit. I'll ask it though. I mean, last November not good. Uh, how do you do? You guys talk about that or not, or is it something that everyone knows about? I mean, everybody knows about it. Even the freshmen, we we haven't really touched on it too much. We don't really uh, talk about it. It's just like we we just gotta take one game at a time. Just like I said before, you just you can't think about the past. It's a it's a new year. It's a new team. We're feeling confident and. We just, we just got to take it to him, just be more physical. And I think just the preparation and trying to stay injury free, I think, uh, I think that's helping us out because we don't, we don't have too many injuries, but I think we're pretty, I think with a new practice schedule, I think we're a lot more fresh. And that's my next question. I mean, is that practice schedule kind of helped? Yeah, especially because we, usually on Mondays, we used to go a little bit harder and now it's more just like, it's more of a walkthrough because coach is talking about like a full 48 hours of rest to like get the body back to where it needs to be. And so I think that really helps out for like today, like my legs feel a lot more fresh than they would have last year when we were going harder on Monday. So Tuesday and Wednesday is like the, the work days, Thursday, pull back the reins a little bit. And then Friday kind of just like prime up for uh, Saturday. What about the, the weather again, 65 today, you guys will be practicing Saturday. Is it an easy adjustment, tough adjustment to come game day? Uh, I think for people around, like I'm from I'm from Ohio and people from PA, I don't think it should be that big of an adjustment because we've been playing it since Pee Wee football. But I, I think the people from Florida, they, that's going to be a tougher adjustment for them. And they just, they just got to know, like once you get running around and once the game starts going, you don't really even notice the cold. But it's just like the pregame and stuff, you just kind of got to break through that. So I think we should be good. We just, they just got to have the right mindset and just not think about the cold. You just got to block it out. Do you guys feel like you proved anything more to yourself after last weekend's win? You know, the way you kind of took it to a team that's kind of done the same thing to you the last couple of years? Oh, that always feels good. I've, since, even since I've been here, we've, we've either come closer and then last year it, was, it wasn't really close at all. And they kind of gave it to us at our own place, which it's just, it just it's like putting salt in the wound. It just hurts. So I just that's the one that's one of the games that I once I was looking I was I wasn't looking ahead through it, but when it was last week that game week, I was extra focused. I, I I that's one of the teams that that's like I wanted to beat. It was like extra more than any other teams in the conference. So if you guys win the conference, do you have anything that you're betting on tonight? I don't have any bets yet. Me and Paige will probably talk about it more, but <laughs> right now we just got uh, his bet going on. I don't really have anything. <laughs> what do you see from South Dakota from a defensive standpoint? I mean, they have a they have a few returns from last. I know on the D line, I went up against a couple. I think there was only one person that graduated, and they. I mean, they're they're big size, like it's about close to as tall as me, about the same weight. I know their their nose is about the same size as me. They have a DN that's real big. He's tough, so you can't let the record uh, fool you. Because in this conference, any it's just a, just a couple of plays makes a difference in every game. So it's I think being here so many years, I know that. But we need to get the younger kids to realize that any game, any team can win any Saturday. Does it help that they played you pretty tough last year? I know this is in South Dakota. 
you guys kind of know what type of team they are. Oh yeah, they're very physical. They're, it was one of the most physical games I've played in, uh, even to this day. It was, it was a real good game. So I, I know they're going to be physical. I know that for a fact. And it's scary playing these teams who, who probably don't have a chance of making the playoffs because they have nothing. They're not going to do like the normal things that you think that any other team is going to do because they don't have anything to lose. So they're going to bring blitzes when they usually weren't during the season. So it's, it's tricky in that aspect. Is that just more mental preparation? Yeah, I, th I think so. Just like being disciplined and always, and never like getting lulled to sleep, and like always, and always thinking that anything could happen. I think Coach Carm does a great job of, because we always we call it chasing ghosts, where uh, we just like we go over plays that he thinks could happen, but don't have a very good likelihood of happening. But we just like chase ghosts, and sometimes they happen in the game. But we're always prepared. Is he saying nice things about you this week? <sighs> Compliments are uh, small and far between with uh, him or Wolf with the offensive line. So, I mean, I mean, he said a good job. He he couldn't pick. I mean, he told us in the meeting room he couldn't really pick a clear offensive lineman of the week, and they ended up giving it to all of us. So that was a compliment to all of us.